slide it, take out the battery. And right now we remove the bezel and remember for this model you don't need to remove any of the bottom portion of the laptop just you are doing only on the bezel part now couple of things to understand this is the 30 pin ribbon cable that goes to the screen and there is one more connection which is sitting below this frame so we need to remove this this frame from the laptop so i'll show you i i removed the screws one two three four five six i think approximately six or eight screws and also the screen also already disassembled from the laptop so that's why it's not showing here but pretty much this will be the same so now once you remove the screws And then once you remove it, this is the only part where we'll get little bit uh, sticky. So start from one end and then disassemble it. Now you notice this this bezel frame is out. Now the next thing is you notice I will show you in closer picture. You you notice the inverter sitting in the bottom. The inverter has two connections this is the left this is the right the left side is coming from the motherboard and the right side is going to the screen in in your old model show you how this inverter looks like okay I remove the screw now you notice the inverter is connected from the motherboard I am removing the connection to the motherboard so this is the very important step you need to understand so I disconnected I disconnected the unit and I removed the inverter from the unit and then removed it and keep it aside because you don't need this inverter anymore. Now this is the cable, this is the cable where it is coming from the motherboard that we need to hook up to the new screen. 